shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're checking out a ukulele version of Dream a Little Dream of Me. Beautiful song, of course, most famous version by the Mamas and Papas, and that's kind of what this version's based on. Uh, so let's get to a close-up and I'll show you how to play the chords for this song. So the intro starts with a C chord, which just requires one finger in the third fret of string one. Uh, you could use any finger, but because of this particular chord progression in the intro, you might want to start off uh, using your little finger there. So there's two strums on that C. And then we're going to this chord, which is an F sharp diminished. So 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. Very groovy little chord, that one on the uke. So C, F sharp diminished. And now we move to a little kind of a bar chord, uh, which is 5th uh, fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret. This is an A flat chord. And then we move that down one semitone, and we get to a G chord. Of course, you could play G regularly like that as well, but as we've gone from the A flat, makes sense to do it that way. So that's the intro, it's just C, F sharp diminished, A flat, G. Does that twice. One thing that you might like to check out is doing a nice little trick for the F sharp diminished, C, and then instead of going directly to this way of playing an F-sharp diminished, if you use a little bar, so it's kind of like a, I guess it'd be a B7 chord, 2nd uh, fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, and then you add the 3rd finger down there on the 3rd fret of the string 1, it gives you that little bit of the kind of the melody, so C, F-sharp diminished, and then we go to the A flat, to the G. And another nice little trick you can do that there for the A flat, you can add the little finger three frets higher than the bar. You can do that pretty much any time you're using that particular shape. There's the root note there. So you could, if you want, have this C. Just a nice way of kind of fancying it up a little bit once you're through the, uh, the basic chords version. So, into the verse, we've got C. Stars, F sharp diminishing, brighter, A flat to G. Back to C. Knight, E7. Okay, 1, 2, O2, E7. These seem to whisper. This is an A7, 0, 1. Zero, zero. Okay, then we're going to an F, two open, one open, birds singing in the F, F minor, not F sharp minor, one open, one third fret, there's your F minor, then C, A flat, G, and then we've got G7, which you can either add a little finger down there on string three, fret five, or you could go to a G7 that way, it wouldn't really matter which one you want. So let's look through the verse now again, nice and slow. C, F sharp diminished, A flat to G. C, E7 to A7. To F, to F minor. C, A flat, G, G7. Verse 2, ever so slightly different at the end. C, F sharp diminished, A flat, G, C, just E7, me and A7, you'll miss me. F, when I'm alone and F minor as can be. A flat G C. Okay, so that's the slight variation on the end of verse two. Dream a little dream of. So just A flat on beat three, G on beat four, two beats on C, two beats on E7, which goes into the chorus. So we've got an A, 
two, one, open, open, two beats. Then add third finger in fret two of string two, and you end up with an F sharp minor. Then we want a bar on the second fret for a B minor seven, and back to E seven. So A, start F sharp minor E, and B minor going E seven, A again. F sharp minor to B minor to E7 A I'm F sharp minoring to B minor 7 to E7 A 2 F sharp minor to A flat to G Okay, that's all of the progressions that you need. So let's play now through verse 1, verse 2 and the chorus. So C to F sharp minor then to A flat to G, C, to E7, then to A7, I love you, F, bird singing in the F minor tree, C, a little A flat of G to G7, C to F sharp diminished, then to A flat to G. C, to E7, tied an A7, you'll miss me. F, when I'm alone, an F minor as can be. C, a little A flat G, C, to E7, to A. Stars F sharping, but B minor 7 goes to E7. Still F sharp minor in your B minor to E7. A. Still F sharp minor in to B minor 7 to E7. A. Just F sharp minor in to A flat to G. And that's pretty much the whole tune. The strumming pattern that I'd recommend that you start off with for this song is very simple, just down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So experiment though, so that would be a good kind of starting point, but remember, as long as you're keeping that hand moving and you're keeping in the groove, you know, you feel free to try and explore some other rhythm patterns, it's a really cool thing to do. Um, another thing to always remember with these kind of tunes as well is to explore the chords a bit. I think I gave you one in the, in the intro there, the... Just adding your little finger on the A flat, adding the little finger on that thinner string. You can use that kind of trick in lots of different songs, not just this one. Uh, another good one that works with this song is when you've got the E7 lifting off the third finger. That's a really nice sounding one, particularly in the chorus to have the A, F sharp minor, B minor. Okay, you can also use it going into the chorus. So anytime you've got a little E7 there, you can experiment with that. There's lots of these little kind of uke tricks. And if you build up your repertoire of being able to do these little variations and then explore cross-pollinating them between songs so that you end up with a, a whole repertoire of cool little uke tricks, that's what I'd be recommending. So uh, anyway, hope you have a lot of fun with this song and I'll see you for plenty more uke lessons and guitar lessons very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.